Today's video is brought to you thanks to your Moz used bike seat in 6.5 litres of Lynx Africa. Alright folks, Batchy here. And before we start, I want to say a wee thanks for 4,000 subscribers. I didn't really have anything planned for this milestone, and to be honest I was a wee bit unprepared for it, so I'll make sure that I'm ready for the next one. Anyway, today's growing up Scottish topic is... The school. We don't need no education. When I wasn't a dog in the school, it was a total write-off. From a dog that ate my homework every day for three years in high school, to stupid primary school nicknames we used to give each other. I was alright, Batchy's always been my nickname. But everyone had this weird fascination of shortening folks' names down and adding Do at the end. Like, Ryan was Rido and Alex was Aldo. And we Dylan. Well, let's just say we had no idea what a dildo was at 8 year old. At this point you're probably starting to understand why I ended up leaving the school with less passes than Cristiano Ronaldo. Of course I always blame the teachers. Teachers were the worst like. They always had terrible patter. Like if you were late to class they'd be giving it. And what time do you call this? Eh, uh, I don't know knobhead the same time as everyone else in this fucking time zone. What was it with all the really stupid questions? Are you listening? No, I just turned my ears off for a wee minute. Of course I'm fucking listening, you only shut up long enough to let me listen to anything else. I had an English teacher who was a total idiot for that kind of thing. She used to say stupid things like, why are you not paying attention? Why do you think? You're boring as fuck, I didn't care about the catcher and the fucking rye, and I'd rather sit here and draw pictures of willies on the desk. I never listened and I learned nothing in school. In fact, the only thing I learned in school was sarcasm. Oh aye. And that the PE teacher was a pedo. It was so obvious, he's in there getting changed more than the kids, cutting about in his shitey tighty whiteies. And he used to wear them same pair of tight speedos for the swimming, too. Can the pedos with the S ripped off them. Cut about the edge of the pool like a pure predator and nip into the toilets for a wank every five minutes. It's kinda obvious, you know. We also had an art teacher who used to stand behind all the lassies while they were drawn so he could look down their tops, giving it, Oh yes, hmm, interesting. Hmm. Then you'd see him shuffle out of his desk trying to hide his massive hard on. Hey, teacher, Do you know, I can't even mind that much for primary school. All I mind is bogging lunches. Except the custard. School custard was the best. But I do just have memories of pulling like 40 feet fucking long hairs out my school lunches. Who's even got hair that long? And the dinner ladies? <laughs> they were mad in our school, like. Half them were about 110 and I'm sure the other half were still signing on. Half them couldn't spell either. It was a guessing game trying to get your lunch, trying to order a pizza and ending up with a fucking plate of pasta. That was I was a lit down, you know. Actually, quick question about school lunches. Why did you only get pigs and blankets at Christmas time? Ken, like, the wee sausages wrapped in bacon. They were amazing. Also, why were the dinner ladies always out in the playground? I was always wondering that. I mean, aren't they supposed to be in making the dinners? They used to always shout at you as well. Right you, half the grass. Nay running. Stop jumping. Nay having fun. Could even play a game of tig without getting fucking balled at. The worst thing I can remember for primary school though was wet days. When you were outside at playtime and it started raining, the dinner ladies are all running around frantically in synchronisation, grabbing kids off the fucking playground and legging it inside. Right, everyone, inside! It's like it's just a bit of fucking rain, it's still gonna kill me. You ended up sitting in the class during break time staring out the window, bored as fuck. High school was just pure shite. I always ended up with punnies, especially in art class. By the way, for anyone who doesn't know what a punny is, it's what we used to call punishment exercises in school. You know, when you're writing out the lines and shit. I mean, one time I was pissing about with one of them shatterproof rulers, and in a bid to test its actual shatterproof capabilities, I put it half on and half off the desk and scalped at a dullion. Well, it snapped clean in half, didn't it? Bounced across the classroom, cracked the teacher right in the face. She was fucking raging. Needless to say, I got a punny for that. I never even did it, and the art teacher had this mad rule that if you didn't do a punny by the next again day, she would double it. So by the end of fourth year, I had over 2,000 punishment exercises for art alone. I've still not done any of them. I was also not that far off getting my own desk in the head teacher's office. Used to get called up there all the time. Usually didn't even make it to first period before I was pulled up the stairs for something. It was stupid shit too, like wearing a hat in the corridor, or spraying deodorant at my mate because he was stinking. The rector walked past my mate standing there kidding that he's got fucking asthma. Then one of them really fake coughs going, <coughs> I'm having an asthma attack. You shouldn't even go to asthma the wee dick. I got a punny for that as well. I remember the first time I went into school, absolutely smashed as well. I was about 15 and I drank half a bottle of whiskey the night before. <laughs> well, steamboats. I can't even mind the getting to school. For all I knew, I could have flown in on Aladdin's fucking magic carpet. I missed Reggie, slept through first period and party second, threw up in third period, and by lunchtime the hangover started to kick in. 
So there's me hiding out in the computing classes, rougher than a badger's ass, trying to find a proxy website the school had banned so I could watch some porn. Eh, uh, I mean play games. While still trying to mind how I even got to school that morning. Thankfully the last classes of the day weren't they so bad because it turns out some cunt had brought a bottle of mad dog in with him. So a wee hair of the dog cheered me right up. It's funny how the cure for alcohol poisoning is more alcohol. Why and some cunt turned on the fire hose and flooded the whole Mickey's department. Then someone else fucked about with magnesium on a Bunsen burner and about set fire to the chemistry department. I got a punny for that as well. Needless to say, when it came to the end of fourth year, the school had had enough of my pish and told me to go to college so they could get peace for me. I ended up picking some mad access course that I didn't even go to half the time. Turns out there was a pub right across the road for the college. Anyway, that's my experiences with the school. Why don't you leave a wee comment down below telling me what the school was like for you? Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video. I don't know.